I'm David Rendell, I'm a professional speaker and I was here yesterday uh, to speak to the teachers and the administrators and then today I spoke to two groups of students, one at 8 o'clock, one at 9 o'clock, just talking about how to be more successful and live a life that's kind of authentically you. So my main message in my book's called The Freak Factor, you see it on my shirt, it's this idea that what makes us weird also makes us wonderful and what makes us weak also makes us strong. We live in a world that pushes us to be normal, be like everybody else um, and we think normal is good but it actually turns out normal is average and mediocre and invisible and I try to show people that, that being weird is absolutely fantastic and that we should tap in that we don't even need to be weird we just need to allow ourselves to express who we really are and that's oftentimes going to seem unusual and also very specifically that our weaknesses are oftentimes strengths I was always in trouble my whole life because I couldn't sit still and be quiet and do what I was told and now I travel the world standing up talking and running my own business so it turned out that all of my weaknesses were strengths and that that same thing is true for all sorts of people and so I give all sorts of interesting examples of people who have weaknesses that are also strengths to show people that you can be yourself, you don't have to be perfect, no one is, and you can tap into who you are in order to be happy and successful. Yeah, I mean the right situation is the situation that puts the spotlight on the best things about you. I mean, uh, the silly one that I use is I'm really tall, so basketball was a good situation for me. Swimming is a good situation for very tall people. Volleyball for, for guys or girls is a very good situation for tall people, but I'd be a terrible jockey. I wish someone would have told me this when I was a kid. I wish someone would have told me that my weaknesses could be strengths. I wish somebody was telling my teachers that weaknesses could be strengths. I wish somebody was telling um, my parents that weaknesses could be strengths. And so that's what I walk away with is the knowledge that uh, I impacted people's lives and I might not even ever find out how um, until much later or just never find out, but that somebody's life was impacted or changed because they heard a message that they needed to hear in that moment and it gave them a different perspective on their life and what's possible for their future.